بسم اللہ الرحمن الرحیم السلام علیکم ہیلو گائز ویلکم بیک ٹو ٹیکنالوجی اب بیت الحق ونس اگین سو لیٹ اسٹارٹ ود سوئچ اسٹیٹمنٹس رائٹ ناؤ ٹوڈے وی آر گوئنگ ٹوڈس سوئچ اسٹیٹمنٹس ان دس ویڈیو وی ول ڈسکس ہاؤ وی یوز دا سوئچ اسٹیٹمنٹس اوکے اینڈ ورٹس دا پرپز آف دس اینڈ ہاؤ وی کین یوز اٹ ود ان آور کوڈ سو چیک اٹ آؤٹ فرسٹلی فرسٹلی اف یو ہیو اے کانسیپٹ آف ایف ایلس okay because uh, we are using the if else statements okay while we are using the conditions within our code and it's just like if the condition is true then display the one statement if the condition will be false then display any other statements okay so the switch statement is the best alternative if we are talking about the many times if else if else okay within our code so if we are talking about the flow of the program while using the switch statement okay And it's just like we have a switch statement on the top side okay switch and after that some value here then what's the purpose of this value let's check it out which statement will be executed it totally depends on this value which we are using within the parentheses of switch so firstly we consider the case 1 case 1 mean if that value equals to 1 so this case what's the meaning of this case it means if that value equals to the 1 then this case will returns true now so if it is true we are moving towards this statement okay so the statement number 1 will be executed and not the other cases will be considered because we have a break statement also after this so we have to discuss is after this flow when we will discuss the syntax of switch statements so right now if the value will not equals to 1 then this case will not be executed okay and after that it returns false then we are moving towards another case so the second case is the case 2 if the value equals to 2 then this case returns true and if this returns true then we are moving towards statement number 2 statement 2 will be executed now so after this so if the case is other than 1 or 2 if the value having the switch statement is equals to 3 then we are moving towards statement number 3 got it and after that if the value is not contained any 1 2 or 3 okay it contains any other integer type value so these all cases will not be executed and we are moving towards the false side and by default so then we have to manage this statement this is the default statement when all or the conditions will be false then we have to move towards this default statement and we have to display anything else so this is simply a flow of a switch statement so if the case 1 is true then moving towards statement number 1 if the value equals 2 then moving towards case 2 and we will to display statement number 2 if the value equals 3 then we have to move towards case 3 and we have to display statement number 3 and if the value having some other value other than the 1 2 or 3 okay then we have to move towards the default side of this switch and we have to display any other statement so after this flow of the switch statement let's move towards the syntax of a switch so it simply is just like switch is a keyword okay after that we are using some value suppose we have a value within the parentheses and after that we have to start the body of the switch statement okay after that then we have to manage the case 1 it means if the value equals to 1 then this case will be true and if this case will be true then the body of this case 1 will be executed and it's just like statement number 1 will be executed now and after that we have to break it break means break is a keyword and uh, it actually terminates the execution of a switch statement not the other cases will be checked now then we are moving towards the case 2 if the value equals 2 then this case will be executed and within this case we have to manage statement number 2 any statement here we can use so after that we have to break it okay so not the other cases will be checked then moving towards the case 3 it means if the value equals to 3 then this case will be true and just we have to display the statement number 
and after displaying the statement number three we have to break it okay the break the execution of switch and if we are talking about if the value is not equals to one not equals to two not equals to three then we have to move towards default side and we have to use any statement right now now suppose just for your understanding if the value equals to one then the case one will be executed and the statement number one will be displayed so if you are talking about if i have the value two here okay then the case two will be executed okay and within the case two we have statement number two there so statement number two will be executed if the value equals to two so if we have value three then the moving towards case three and within the case three we have to display statement number three and if we have the value other than one two or three now it's just like if we have the value four then the case four will be executed and within the case four we have some statement to display here so this is the syntax of the switch statements now we have to use it within the code suppose let's take an example with the code suppose we have this program in. we are using switch statement actually okay and we have a different cases case one two and three and defaults so right now what's the execution of this program step by step we will discuss it now it's just like firstly we have to declare integer a okay the variable a with the data type is integer after that we have to display enter a number okay with the c out statement so after displaying this scene a that means this program will input the number from user and user have to input some value here now it's just like user have to enter one okay so if user enters one here it means one is assigned to the variable a so a having the one value okay after that we have a switch statement and within the switch parenthesis we have using which variable the variable a okay that means no switch statement will be dependent on the value of the variable a now suppose we have a case one if the variable a having the value one check it out whether this condition is true right now yes the case one will is true because the a having the value one so then we have to display value is one so in the output we also show that the value is one after that break statement now the break statement means we are not moving towards other cases if the case one is true similarly let's take another example if we have a three in a variable a so suppose user enters three value okay and after that that three will be assigned to the variable a and then we have to apply switch statement on a and firstly which case will be a checked while case is one that condition will be false actually a is not equals to one now okay so we, we are moving towards the case two now so because a's value is not equals to two then case two will also be false and program continues towards the case three now check it out if the value of a will be equals to three now right now this statement is true so we have to display here the value is three so the output of this code while we are having the value a is three then value is three on the output now suppose if the user having the five while input the value so the a's value will be five then we have to apply switch statement on the a so the a having the five now check it out the case one because a's value is not equals to one so the case one will returns false we are not moving towards case one the nextly case two if you are considered this for the value of a is five no the case is also not two this is also returns false so moving towards next case case is three so value of a once again not equals to three then once again we are moving towards the default side of this switch so right now program will be displayed just within the body of the default statement we have to display value is 
not 1, 2 or 3. So check it out, the output of this. The value is not 1, 2 or 3. While we have the value of a equals 5 now. Now moving towards the program. The actual program while using the dev C++, the compiler, okay. And uh, we are having the language C++ here to execute this program. So we are having this variable a and uh, we have to input variable a from the user, okay. And after that switch statement and we have we are having the cases case 1 case 2 case 3 and the default case okay just like same code here suppose right now I have to run it now check it out there is the output screen and it shows that enter a number suppose I enter here the value 1 okay and then I have to enter this where's the output right now so the value is 1 because uh, we are having the switch statement in the program and switch statement which case will be executed case 1 so in the case 1 we have displayed value is 1 suppose once again I executed this program once again then moving towards the output enter a number suppose I have to enter some value suppose I enter here right now 2 now I press the enter Okay. What will be the output right now? The value is 2 because in the case 2 we have to display the value is 2. So if we have any other uh, values rather than 1, 2 or 3 then what will be the output? Now check it out once again if we consider this program and uh, run it once again enter a number. So suppose I have to enter 7 now Okay, and now I enter this then what will be the output right now? The value is not 1, 2 or 3. So actually program executes the default case. Just a default case, okay? Not the other cases. Similarly, if we talk about any other program, it's just like this. Actually this program is just like uh, if we are creating a simple calculator with the help of C++ program in which we declare two variables integer x and y okay and we are having the value 4 in the x and the 4 also in the variable y after that we have to check it out the op which operation will be executed between x and y if the user enters suppose plus then we have to add these numbers if the user enters uh, minus we have to subtract this number so for this purpose we have a character a okay in which we are assigning the operators next suppose we have to see out into the operation to be performed between the 4 and 4 this will be displayed on the output screen and after that we have to take some input right now it's just like c in a so if the user press plus operator then plus will be assigned to the character a okay after that we have to apply a switch statement on it switch a and within this body of the switch we have a multiple cases depending upon which operation will be performed so we have a multiple cases just like case plus okay after that case minus if the user enters minus then we have to subtract these values now the case divide and we have also the case multiplication and the enter user any other uh, number or the any other operation other than these operations then execution moving towards the default state default case and we are displaying the invalid input here so suppose I just run this program okay I execute it and uh, what's the output of it it displays actually enter the operation to be performed between 4 and 4 so right now suppose I have to enter plus operator okay plus and enter so what's it returns it returns actually the result is 8 because 4 plus 4 equals to 8 now okay suppose I once again execute this program then what will be the output suppose right now if I'm again executed this program input the operator is just like multiplication so it displays the result so actually which case of uh, this switch statement will be executed right now 
actually the case multiplication okay so this is the whole story of the switch statement while we are working on this uh, flow of a uh, switch statement after that we are working on the syntax of this switch statement and after that we have discussed multiple coding examples with the step by step procedures how to execute it so thank you so much for watching and never forget to subscribe technology hub by talha thank you so much